Cyberpunk 2077 is finally here. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. The game puts players in control with its thorough character customization, aside from some limited skin tones. You also could choose your life path that serves as V's backstory and influences dialogue and quests. I chose Street Kid, making V knowledgeable on the inner workings of the city and gangs in control. This is the best option if you're looking for an experience that will have you feel like Trinity from The Matrix. And like Trinity, while I played, I felt calm, cool, and like a rebel who holds their own in a fight. The combat, although not groundbreaking, is smooth. It incorporates shooting, melee, and hacking mechanics to make every fight satisfying. Whether you're sliding while shooting at enemies or wielding a katana to slice and dice. However, the skill tree system isn't as satisfying, and at times it's overwhelming. The game story does a good job at balancing the best of the cyberpunk genre, CD Projekt Red gameplay mechanics, and Keanu Reeves. It offers a good story that doesn't overstay its welcome. The real charm, though, comes from exploring Night City outside of the game's campaign and interacting with NPCs, especially for heist missions. Actually, it was through these missions that I really see the potential of multiplayer. Overall, Cyberpunk 2077 is a beautiful homage to the cyberpunk genre and plays on everything that you'd expect from that genre. It's a large, dynamic world, but unfortunately, to experience it, you'll have to go through a curtain of bugs. My game fully crashed three times on my Xbox Series X, once in character customization and twice during combat. There were other minor glitches like NPCs disappearing that also made playing the game frustrating. And that's why, for now, I'd recommend you put your Cyberpunk 2077 adventures on hold. Wait for patches to fix bugs so nothing can interfere with you truly appreciating Night City.